Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mario Cazares and today I got a video for you guys. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos and that is because of school. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be going to school again this summer so I will have be just as busy and probably not be able to do as many videos but I'm planning on trying to get more videos uh, done. Uh, I want to keep up with my channel, it's just a little hard. But anyway, that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and talk about the video. So today's video is actually a time lapse of a final project I had to do for one of my classes in school. And it is a compositing time lapse. I always see uh, time lapses for other things like 3D and uh, speed drawing, what, whatever the art form. But compositing itself, I have not really seen any time lapses for it and there's probably reasons. But uh, yeah, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give it a shot. I'm going to do this final project, so might as well record the whole process. So uh, this video is actually uh, serves two purposes. So if you know what compositing is, then this video is just something interesting just to, to see a time lapse, you know. Um, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, what compositing even is or what this video is even about, I'm going to give a fun little analogy explanation of what compositing is. And this is the purse for the person who knows nothing about computers, knows nothing about computer graphics. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so uh, instead of trying to explain compositing in a very technical sense, I thought it would be fun if I used an analogy. So um, I'm going to use a group of elementary students working on a group project that were assigned to a group project to help uh, try to explain what compositing is. So the people we have are Ken, Lily, Cornelius, Crystal, and May. All right. So um, Ken, he, let's say he's assigned to make vocab cards. So that's what Ken's going to do. He's going to make vocab cards for this project. That's what he's good at, apparently. Lily uh, is really good at making questions, asking questions. So she's going to create questions for the class. That is her part of the assignment. That's all she has to do is just make questions that they can ask during their presentation to the class. Cornelius, uh, he's really, really smart. He loves writing. So, of course, everyone made him write the essay and uh, he wouldn't have it any other way because, you know, his work has to be perfect. All right. And now we have Crystal, who is an amazing artist. So, of course, she has the job of drawing a poster. And then finally, we have, uh, we, well, actually, we have Jack, but he's really not, he's that kid that does nothing in the school project. So we're not going to put his name on this. So yeah, he's just a freeloader. But uh, yeah, last, we have May. And May, uh, well, her job, although it seems like she's doing nothing, is to take all these things that all these other students are making and present them, put them together in a final work, a final cohesive work, and present them to the class. It's what the class is actually going to see. They're going to see this big picture. So that's what May is. That's what a compositor does, is they take all these elements, let's say like Ken's vocab cards, uh, Lily's questions for the class, Cornelius's essay, Crystal's drawing. She takes all of their talents, all of their skill, all of their time that they each uh, put into their own craft and she's gonna make a cohesive presentation so make sure everything matches make sure there's there's some sort of a theme that uh, which order would these go best in what do we want to highlight more what do we want to um, use to balance everything to make a good balance a good big project a good presentation because most of their grade is going to be on the presentation of the work or what people uh, see how they see the work. So all in all, as you can see, May is what uh, puts everything together. She's the end of the line, the compositor, and she makes what you see in the final project. Same thing in the movies. Uh, they take all those images, all those, the, the art, everything, they put it together and it's the literal final image that you are looking at. That's, that's the work of the compositor. So uh, I hope that analogy helped you out. I, I, thought it would be a lot funner than just trying to technically explain what compositing is. But uh, yeah, that's what compositing is. And uh, yeah. Okay, so now that I've explained what compositing is, um, I'm just going to briefly tell you what it is I'm actually doing. What, what am I doing in this shot? Um, so the idea for this, the idea for the final project was to take a movie 
take a show, whatever. Uh, just something, something popular, something famous, something well known, and add a person into that shot as if they were there originally when they uh, filmed that. So um, I was looking through footage. Uh, it was not actually a very hard choice. I specifically knew that McFarland would be a choice. Why? I have no idea why McFarland was a choice automatically. I mean, I have watched the movie once in theaters at this point, and that was it. But uh, I really liked the movie, and I thought, you know what, this, this might work. This movie might work. So I ended up buying the movie on iTunes and uh, watching the whole thing, and I found one, one shot that worked, that met the requirements for this final project. That was it, just one. So um, yeah, what, we, what I did is I clipped that part uh, of the shot and then I studied the lighting, I studied what I needed to do, had different ideas, and the best idea we came up with is taking our treadmill, uh, removing that control panel, and just having them run um, while I'm recording from the front. Uh, so run in place, and that way, it would look like he's running in the actual shot because if you look at the actual shot, the camera's moving with the runners. So that that is why he's running on a treadmill because um, it would have been really hard to try to replicate that, uh, <laughs> especially with the green screen. So that, yeah, that was that. And then the green screen itself is just on a canopy. And that's why there's some bumps in it. That's why it's a little bit messed up, but, um, I don't have anything to hold it up but yeah that's the basis of the the shot is to add him in the shot make it look like he's running side by side with these guys and um in the end i'm going to show you the the final shot at the end but uh i think it's it's an all right uh outcome there's a lot of things i would have changed a lot of things i would have done a little bit differently but um i'm happy with the direction i chose and the choices that i made um i think it was the right direction to go in um but yeah, um, that's that's it for the explanation of the video. I'm just going to let you watch it for a little bit. And I'm going to meet up with you again uh, towards the end of the video to wind it down. So I will see you in a bit. Alrighty, so uh, we are nearing the end of the video, um, about time to wind things down. Uh, just want to say a few final words. I actually ended up working on the shot a little bit after off camera and uh, finishing some things up. It's all in all seven weeks in the making, very stressful, uh, very fun, but I, I, what I can say is <laughs> I am done. I am happy that it is completed. I am happy that it's completed. So uh, yeah, I hope that you you know found something helpful, uh, maybe something useful, maybe you just enjoyed the video. That's fine too. That's totally fine. I really enjoyed hanging out with you, although I can't see or hear you. It's really fun to do these videos, and um, yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this as well. Um, I'm actually recording this June third, which is sort of late. But um, I don't exactly have a lot of time to do videos. Um, I'm sort of busy, so one video every month seems to be my schedule. And I don't think for the next few years I'll be very uh, free to do videos. But yeah, hopefully maybe I can, I can do more videos in the future sometime. But uh, for now, that seems to be my schedule. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. I want to thank you for watching. And 